Hello everyone and welcome to playing. Now I was just going about my day to day doing all kinds of things and editing the previous videos of playing and I nearly forgot to meditate today and then just as the evening creeped in I was just like oh man you know what I forgot to do today? I forgot to meditate with plain. Meditation is to be open to every moment. We may have read that before. Now, luckily, well, luck had little to do with it. We've managed to get a streak of two now, so that's something. And today we will go and find out about chapter three. What do you say? Chapter three, the mountain wolf. Indeed, are you ready? Yes. Your progress is impressive, Wanderer. What would you like to learn about now? I want to know more about plain. A long time ago, the river used to flow through this land. Where did the river go? The river moved out of the way. Huh? How does the river just move out of the way? A river is not just a river alone. A mountain is not just a mountain alone. They form the world not alone but together, like the cells in your body. Don't tell me. We are all connected. I will not tell you. <laughs> now, if we are all connected, then I should be able to do this. Do what? <laughs> I command you to howl like a coyote. I'm not sure, but okay, let's do that. <laughs> I command you to stop being a fool. I'm sorry. Do you have any more questions about plane? Do I have to meditate here in plane? What I teach you, you can use wherever and whenever. But for plane to grow, you must meditate here. So plane is somehow connected to the rest of this world? Yes. However, it was not always like this. First, plane was under the river. Then the river moved away. The riverbed then ride out and became a step. What's a step? A large grassland devoid of trees, a plain. I understand. Then what happened? You see, nothing could grow here because the land was barren. All the trees beyond would look over the plains and wonder why their seeds never grow here. That's ironic. Isn't it? The land where nothing grew now has the power to bring growth back to existence. That is indeed ironic. How did plain get such powers then? You mean how did a plain become plain? <laughs> there used to be a wolf who lived up in a mountain far away from here. She was a mountain wolf. I guess that was the wolf that we saw along with this fox running along in the credits. She spent her days exploring her mountain, since it was immense both in size and beauty. But one day she had led herself down a path which she didn't know would take her away from the mountain and into the plains. Once she reached them, she got so excited by those flat lands that she kept wandering until one day she lost sight of her mountain. How can you lose sight of a mountain? By wandering far beyond what you know. So what did she do? She gave up her home and settled in the plains. She became known as the mountain wolf that lived in the plains. She was a wanderer like me. Yes, you understand well. You are another wanderer just like her, but you are not a wolf. Sad times. Didn't she miss home? She missed her memories of home, but she was more excited about the moments she could create here in her new home, the plains, and she had many wonderful moments here. Had? So she started a new life here. Yes, right here where you stand, this was her home. Wait, are you her? Yes, oh, okay. So my previous theory about this fox and the wolf in the credits was clearly mistaken. <laughs> really? No, I just shared a joke with you. How could I be her when I am here? <laughs> 
Okay, so perhaps my original theory was correct after all. <laughs> so where is she now? She lived here for years, but as she got older and closer to death, she started to long for her mountain again. She wanted to go back home. Oh, did she leave? She did not know where the mountain was anymore, so she settled in plain because she was lost. Well, she was lost until a visitor showed her the way. Who was the visitor? The foolish fool. The foolish fool who helped the emperor? The very same one. The foolish fool wandered here. The wolf, not used to having visitors, hid behind that rock over there, the one you sit on to meditate. The fool looked over it and told her something. What did he tell her? He pointed to the east and said, If you ever wondered, that is where your mountain is. And then he left. He just wandered here to tell her this? Well, he did not just wander here. He came here because he knew that she wanted to go back home. He knew her mind was ready for the seed of action, so he planted it. Once the seed was planted, it was not long before she decided to leave plain for her mountain. She would do it once winter was over. Why did she wait for winter to be over? Because you cannot take an arduous journey in winter when there is less food and even more danger of becoming food yourself. Then what happened? Once spring arrived, she got herself ready. But that is when it happened. What happened? She left? Well, the day before she was going to leave, the sun stopped moving and the day would not come to an end. Was it the Emperor's wish for immortality? Yes. The foolish fool had brought immortality to the world. Did she become immortal like us then? She lived as an immortal, and in that permanence she lost her desire to return to the mountain. Why did she lose her desire to leave? She wanted to go back home because she sensed her own mortality, her own death. The idea of her own death made her want to see her home for one last time. Now with immortality, that desire disappeared. So she stayed. Yes. She thought she would leave for the mountain once balance had been brought back to the world. She would leave when she could die. So she lived in plain as an immortal wolf. Where is she? Dead. What? Well, that's a twist. She died? Unfortunate, but yes, she perished. Without her dying though, we would not have this plane. But why? How? What she did not know was that she... What she did not know was that she was to be the only being in the world that was not immortal. Ah. What she did not know was that she was the only being in this world that was not immortal. I wonder why. She could have lis listened to her, vo or her own voice and followed it to the mountain. She mistakenly thought that she was like everyone else. But it is her death that has given us hope. Hope of what? Of bringing balance back to plain. To make the trees grow again. To make the sun set and the moon rise. I don't understand. This campfire here, it is where they built her funeral pyre. The soil of this land is her ashes. The campfire is the remains of her pyre. Wow, that's a bit sad. Her desire to be mortal lives in the specks of her ashes. And this is what gives plain its power. The soil we stand on is her ashes. Yes, before she died, she was convinced of her immortality and her desire for the mountain only appeared when she thought she was mortal. The soil here has that desire. That is why, when you meditate, it brings back growth to the plain and the world. She still misses her mountain. True. But you can take her back to the mountain by bringing balance back to the world. Can I? Why else would you be here, friend? So I can take Wolf to her mountain. Yes. Once you bring growth back to the world, you will give the mountain wolf what she desired for to return home. A sequel. Very possibly, my friend. Okay, I better get back to it. You'd better. 
And that's chapter three. See you tomorrow. <sighs> wow. Poignant, a little sad, but touching story. I don't think we know the name of the wolf. That would be quite nice to know. Hmm. All right. On that note, let's move on and uh, get on to our meditation for the day. For today, what I might do is I might do one of the other meditations. Um, I might do one of the, let's do the breathing for calm. Although I'm already pretty calm, but let's let's try that one. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Breathing for calm. Recommended duration five minutes. All right. Let's do that. All right.
what people say you cannot do, you try and find that you can. Hmm. So that's a streak of three. Great news. So how did you find that meditation? I found that it required a little bit more concentration than the one we normally do. And definitely found it relaxing. I was almost nodding off there at one point. Um, so something to bear in mind next time you're struggling to fall asleep, I guess. Um, so next time around, we will do chapter four and see what happened with the wolf and the foolish fool and the emperor and fox, who's actually called wolf. <laughs> and we'll see what happens with us as well or with me. Will I get to streak four tomorrow? Let's hope so. But there's only one way to find out. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. And I'll see you again next time.